Hello there and welcome. So here we are with uh, Vault and uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about storage backends. So if we go in the console to the CentOS machine and check the Etsy Vault D vault.hcl file, you will see that we have different configuration items. And by default, Vault is going to use the file storage backend, meaning that everything, every secret that you create, configuration, and so on, is going to be located in the at opt Vault data folder which is not bad, but sometimes you have uh, specific requirements or want to use a different storage backend. And uh, technically, in this video, I want to show you how you can swap out the storage backend to uh, MySQL storage backend. So let's do that. <clears throat> in the CentOS machine, we have the uh, if you are using the stream version, you have the MySQL server package available. So sudo yum install MySQL server is going to succeed. Let's wait for it to do its job. After the server is installed, we have some configuration to do. Uh, let me make it a little bit bigger. So system CTL enable my SQLD. Oh, sudo system yeah. enable mysqld and let's start it. And it started. So now what we would like to do is to use mysql secure installation. And basically we want to have some kind of uh, configuration. I don't need password validation. I am going to create a new password. And let's remove the anonymous users. Don't disallow the remote login for root. And let's remove the database, the test, and we are good to go. So uh, in order to swap out the backend in the vault, what we have to do is to edit the Etsy vault, the vault.hcl file. And the first thing that we have to do is to comment out this storage section and then create a new one. So storage MySQL. And basically here we have to configure the appropriate section. So let's say that the database that we want to use is called vault and the table is also called vault and the username is going to be root and the password is going to be this one. So now the section is reconfigured and we have to use the system CTL restart uh, vault. <coughs> and just to verify the status, you can see that it is running. So basically the engine was swapped out. And now if we refresh the website, you will see that we have to reinitialize our vault. Basically, it's the equivalent of issuing the vault operator init command. And we can configure the key shares. Let's say that we want five shares and the key th threshold is two. And download the keys. And in another window, we would like to what would we like to, yeah, let's try to get the downloads vault cluster 022T07 
the JSON and then we can continue to unseal. Let's do this. We should be able to unseal it with just two keys and then we can use the token and now we are in the vault. So technically this is how we can swap it out and if we want we can go to the mysql u root dash p and enter our password and show databases is going to reveal that the vault database was created and if you use vault as i said use vault we can show tables and we have the vault table and select count star from vault is going to oh let's select the star from vault and what Cool, we have 27 rows, and as you can see, these are hidden secrets or configuration related to whatever we have here. And uh, this is how you can swap out the backend in your vault. See you in the next one.